Hello friends. Today in this session we shall discuss patch work on bituminous roads as given in IRC 116 and IRC SP 100. Here we will discuss the material for patch work as well as the procedure of patching in the field. Patching is the progress of filling potholes or deteriorated parts of asphalt pavements and potholes and other payment disintegration should be repaired as soon as possible to prevent further degradation and costly payment repairs. The use of hot mix is preferred for patchwork because it is more durable and more cost effective than cold mix. But quality hot mix is not available throughout the year at many locations, particularly in low temperature regions and therefore patching may be done using cold mix also. The material for patching will be plant mixed ready-made. Pothole patching mix bitumous mixture is composed of mineral aggregate coated with bitumous material. And the bitumous material can be either cut back as suggested in IRC 116 or it can be emulsion as given in IRC SP 100. When cut back is used, IRC 116 suggests use of medium curing cut back. MC800 as per IS217. The emulsion is recommended in IRC SP100 and the grade of emulsion for patch work is either medium setting or slow setting grade 2 or it can be even tailor made also. When cutback is used, it should be treated with a proper type and amount of anti stripping agent to pass through the wet coating test aesthetic immersion test and water resistance test. Coarse aggregate for patch material will be having the same properties as we generally take for other types of bitmus mixes. It should be crushed rock, crushed gravel or other hard material retained on 2.36 mm sieve. Should be clean, hard, durable and cubical shape free from dust and soft organic and other deleterious substances. The requirement of coarse aggregate that should be clean and cleanness is measured by passing the aggregate through 75 micron sieve and this should be less than 2%. The particle shape combined flexibility elongation index should be less than 35%. The strength can be measured either through a present test or through impact value and these are the values and durability is measured using soundness test and after 5 cycles in sodium sulphate, it, the low should be maximum of 12%. If magnesium sulphate is used, it should be maximum of 18%. Water absorption should not be more than 2% in any case. If crushed gravel is used, not less than 90% by weight of the crushed material retained on 4.75 mm sieve shall have at least 2 fractured faces. The fine aggregate for patch material mix will be crushed mineral material passing 2.36 mm sieve and retained on 75 micron. It shall be clean, hard, durable and free from dust and soft organic and other deleterious substances. These are normal for any types of bitmus mix but no natural sand shall be permitted here. And when coarse aggregate and fine aggregates are combined together the grading, final grading of the mixture should be as per this table. Passing 9.5, 100%, 4.75, 4200, 2.36, 10 to 40 and so on. Even wrap material can also be used to prepare patching material by special emulsion formulation and emulsion content of 1.5 to 2.5% by dry weight of wrap are typical for these mixes and their handling is similar to traditional maintenance mixes. But it is always preferred to use aggregate having water absorption less than 1%. The amount of residual binder, residual binder means total cutback or emulsion minus diluent. In case of MCC that is cutback we use kerosene as the diluent in case of emulsion, we use water. So after removing kerosene or water from the cutback or emulsion, the residual bitumen content should be in the range of 4.5 to 5.5 percent 
depending upon the surface characteristics of the aggregate. When water absorption is less than 1%, it can be minimum 4.5%. When it is more than 1.5%, it is 5.5%. That is residual bitumen content. In case of emulsion, the quantity of emulsion will be 7 to 8% by weight of aggregate. If the cutback is to be used, for example, MC800, and let us say that for cutback, 80% bitumen is mixed with 20% kerosene, then in that case, if you use 6% cutback, then the residual bitumen will be 4.8%, 80% of 6%, 4.8%. This should be in the range of 45 to 5.5% depending upon the gradation and surface characteristics of the aggregate. Next is preparation of the mix. Uh, let us first discuss preparation of the mix with emulsion. Now here emulsion and aggregate mixture can be mixed either in a pug mill or in a concrete mixer and then transported to the site where these are to be used. The heating of the aggregate is normally not necessary. In cold weather conditions, warm aggregates and emulsions heated up to 50 to 85 degrees centigrade can be used for better workability. For preparing the mix, first the aggregate meeting the standard grading requirement is fed into the pug mill or cold mix plant or concrete mixer. And then we add 1 to 2 percent water to wet the aggregate. Then this water plus aggregate content is mixed for 1 to 2 minutes. After that, we add requisite quantity of emulsion at the rate of 7% by weight of aggregate and it is mixed for 1 minute. And when, when it is brown, then it is ready to use. So discharge the material from the mixer and it can be used once it gets brown. When mix is prepared with the cutback MC800, then we can use conventional batch type hot mix plant. If drum plant is used, drying off aggregate with a burner flame and mixing with MC800 should never be done simultaneously because this MC800 contains kerosene and it can catch the fire. Aggregate temperature can be kept 25 to 65 degrees centigrade and binder temperature is in the range of 75 to 95 degrees centigrade. Now, since the range of aggregate temperature is low, it may not be possible to dry the aggregate within this temperature range. Therefore, aggregate can be processed in a dryer at high temperature and then allowed to cool before cutback is added. The mix should be such that it can be stocked, handled, placed and finished without stripping of bitumen from aggregates. Once the mix is ready, then it can be transported to the site for pothole repair or patch repair work. And preparation of the area for patching is like this, that each pothole and patch repair area shall be inspected and all loose material should be removed. Cut or trim the area either with jackhammers or with hand tools such that all the defective material responsible for the failure is removed and it is in a regular shape. Generally, excavated pit area should be cut vertically and it should be brought to the rectangular shape. And for cutting this, either you can use the saw cutter or jackhammers or it can be done manually in case of very short work. The area shall be thoroughly cleaned with compressed air to remove all dust and loose particles. The mix is intended for patching the pothole up to a depth of 75 mm. If the depth of the pothole is more than 75 mm, then it should be repaired in layers. And thickness of layer can be anything between 25 to 75 mm, depending upon total thickness of total depth of the pothole. When potholes extend to granular base layer, then it is required to use tack coat or prime coat before placing the mix. And if it is very deep pothole and the engineer at site feels that the pothole should first be filled with granular material, then crushed 
run macadam can be used to fill the part of the porthole and the grading of the CRM should follow this table depending upon the maximum size of the aggregate. One of these two can be used for deep portholes and after that CRM is placed then prime coat and tack coat must be applied before placing the patch material. After placing the mixture in the porthole the next step is to compact it. First the outside edge or periphery of the patch shall be compacted with the hand rammer and then compaction shall proceed inward from all directions. The compacted patch shall be about 10 mm higher than the existing road surface to allow for further compaction by traffic. If there are several closely spaced portholes, use a small roller rather than a hand rammer. When roller is used, the compacted patch shall be about 3 mm higher than the existing road surface. After compaction is complete, sprinkle sufficient amount of clean sand on the patch to prevent pickup by the traffic. Certain quality control tests are also specified on patching material. Gradation and bitumen content in the produced mix are regular tests that should be conducted at the rate of at least two tests per lot. Now here one lot is of 10 ton material. In addition to these two tests, bone test as per IRC SV100, workability test and water resistance test should also be conducted at the rate of one test per lot. Now this bond between existing bitmus layer and patch layer is extremely important and it is conducted in shear. And what IRC suggests that this bond strength should at least be 2 kg per centimeter square. Now I'll explain these three methods how they are done. In the case of bond test, martial specimen is prepared but it is prepared in two parts. The first part is of 30 to 35 millimeter thickness and it is prepared with the material of the lower layer. If it is bitmus concrete, you prepare this part of the specimen using material corresponding to bitmus concrete. If the porthole is up to the depth of DBM, then you prepare this part with the DBM material by applying 50 blows on one side of the martial specimen. So total thickness here is 30-35 mm. After this part of the mold is cooled down to ambient temperature, then it is taken out of the mold and tack coat is applied at the specified rate on the sample and it is allowed to cure for 24 hours at room temperature. Then above this tack coat, we prepare the second part of the specimen. The other part of the partial specimen is also prepared by using 50 blows but now the material is the patching material. So idea here is to find out or to determine what is the bond strength between the older layer and the new layer. After completion of the curing period, the sample shall be placed in the shear mold assembly in the Marshall testing machine. And this is here the shear mold assembly. It is a Marshall machine, but the mold here, testing mold or testing plate is in two parts. The first part which you see in the front is semicircular split plate to fix the upper part of the sample that is 40 millimeter which is prepared by patch mix material. The first part, the second part of the sample, here also you have a semicircular split plate but it only fixes the lower part of the sample and its thickness can be 35 to 40 millimeter or even 60 millimeter also and in between these two is the tack cord. So this part remains fixed and load is applied only in the front part. So the specimen will fail in shear and you note down the shear or then you note down the total load taken by this first part of the specimen and this load divided by the area of this circular surface is the bond strength and that bond strength should be at least 2 kg per centimeter square. The second is workability test. Simple test that can be done in the laboratory. Approximately 2.5 kg of patching mix material is cooled to minus 7 degree centigrade in freezer 
and after cooling of this sample this mixture shall be capable of being broken up readily with a spatula that has a blade length of approximately 200 mm so if you are able to break it with this spatula then it passes workability test this test is also applicable in areas with hot climate because it amplifies the workability characteristics of the mix by using a lower test temperature and the third is water resistance test in this test 50 grams of patching mix is heated at 120 degree centigrade for 4 hours and then it is cooled to 95 degree centigrade by air and then we take 400 mm of boiling water in a beaker of 600 mm capacity and place this cooled mixture in boiling water and stir it with a glass rod at the rate of 1 revolution per second for 3 minutes after that water is removed that is decanted and the mix shall be spread on an absorbent paper for visual observation of the coating aggregate should at least be 90% coated with bituminous film that is the water resistance test so friends thank you very much for watching this video if you have any suggestions write in the comment box